Hello, this is Steve Shaw for acrylicpouring.com. And one of the many things I love about uh, acrylic pouring is that it's a journey. One idea will connect to another idea, which gives you another idea to try something else. So it's not like you do a hundred poor paintings or you're poor paint, making poor paintings for a year and suddenly you're an expert and you know everything about it. It's just you're always growing, things are always changing. And today I'm gonna to do something I've never done before. And it was kind of a connect the dot set of ideas um, about doing a flip cup. But also um, when I do my flip cup pours, quite often I'll have a hard time getting the paint to get all the way to the edges of my, paint to, of my canvas. And I thought, what if I started outlining or kind of framing up or edging would be a better word, edging my canvases with some paint before and then do it, did a flip cup. Well, that kind of presents a whole new set of, uh, of problems or challenges when you're thinking about doing the canvas on the top and flipping over. But I think I figured out a way to do it. So today I'm going to do a flip cup with edging around my canvas that will probably turn into a swipe. So can really combining the flip cup with the swipe. So let's see what happens. Today I'm using a 16 by 20 inch canvas and the paints that I'm using uh, are all Apple Barrel paints that you can get at Walmart or Michaels. I have white, a red, a dark, dark blue that is so thick, I don't know if you can see it or not, but my spoon is literally standing up inside the paint, it's so thick. I have a black and a yellow, and a large 16 ounce cup that I'll be doing, uh, putting my paint into. I've added a little bit of water to all of these, a little bit of Zinser Paint Booster to all of these. Uh, lately, I have not been using Floetrol. I've been using water instead and buying paints that were um, already kind of mixed up a little bit thinner and closer to the consistency that I want. I am going to use three-in-one uh, silicone, and I'm gonna add some of that now. And I think I'm gonna mainly be using my blue as a swipe. So I'm gonna add a shot of the silicone to the red, black, yellow, and I'm even gonna add some to the white, which I don't normally do. And I've got a little bit left in my bottle, so I'll probably add a little bit more in a minute. And I'm gonna give a little swirl on these and I'll move them out of the way. And then we'll pour them into my cup and we'll get started. That blue is so thick. Look how crazy thick that is. Red is medium thick. Yeah, medium. White is really, really thinner than I, that I normally do, so that'll be interesting. Okay, so, actually, what the heck. Um, I've got my canvas ready to go. Got my white, so I'm gonna start my pour. I'm thinking that it's gonna take most of 16 ounces to really get this canvas covered. I'm gonna do quite a bit of red. Um, my color scheme for this was also kind of a connect the dot things. I did a pour earlier um, where I used a bunch of spring colors and just pour that pretty good bit down in there. Um, and one, in one of the corners of the canvas was this beautiful section that was uh, mostly just blue and red, and there was a little bit of yellow, but gosh, it was just really, really intricate and really, really beautiful. So I wanna try to, uh, so those colors kind of inspired me to go heavy with the red and the yellow, and then a little bit of black, and a little bit of the yellow here. And I actually did pause the camera there for a moment because I wanted to stop and mix up the blue a little bit thinner. The blue that I was adding was just so incredibly thick. So I'm gonna add a little bit more blue on here, but a slightly thinner version of it. And a little bit of white and yellow. And we will be getting close to that 16. Oh, I'm gonna put all that white in there. About the 16 ounces of paint that I'm pretty sure we're gonna need. A little bit more red. Cup is looking pretty interesting. It may, you know, sometimes if you mix too many colors together, it'll get kind of a blah, brownish kind of color, but I'm hoping we're gonna be okay. All right, so, got all my colors in my cup. 
Gonna do my flip cup now, picking up my 16 by 20 canvas, putting it here. I've got my push pins in the back of the canvas for later, so when I set it to dry, it won't stick to the tabletop. Now, I'm gonna let my cup just sit here for a moment. And this was that nice, so that was my flip cup part of the pour. I still have my nice thick blue. I am going to edge my painting all the way around with this nice thick blue. And that will kind of make a frame for it. And my, again, my original idea was I was having trouble getting paint to the edge sometimes. Not trouble, but I had to go back and touch it up a little bit more. So I am just putting a lot of really thick blue all the way around. Okay. That is super, super thick. All right, all my blue's on there. Do have some red left over and some yellow. Probably use that for end of the day flip cup. All right, so if you can see down in here close, I've got a little bit of, uh, of the paint is working its way out, but here it is, my favorite part. This is the point where universes are made. Wow, that is a lot of paint. A 16 ounce cup will definitely cover, look at it, it's pouring right off the side, will definitely cover a uh, 16 by 20 canvas with plenty to spare. So I'm just gonna work my way back through here, trying to get to my edges. Not seeing any of that yellow at all, really. And so I've got, my colors are all here. Okay. So this is looking pretty darn interesting, actually. So let's just see what happens with, um. I swipe here. I don't. It's really it. It's really really dark. <sighs> Can't lie. Um, but with a swipe, we'll we'll just see what happens. I'm gonna find my swiping tool. Which is right here, and it's just a piece of plastic, and um, I've got a paper towel so I can wipe off the uh, the extra. I'm gonna actually pull back a little bit on this. I'm gonna take my finger and move some of this paint back over the edge, which is kind of ironic because that's what I was wanting to avoid doing at the very beginning. But there we go, that blue is so thick. And let's swipe some of this and see what it does. There we go. That's pretty. All right, so the red and the blue is really, and got some nice cells coming through, but it's kicking up a really pretty kind of purple now. Wiping off in between. There we go. Another one from up here. Okay. I'll pull a little bit of that up. Wow, really, really pretty. Not at all what I expected. Oh wow, look at this. There are cells that are just kind of slowly popping up in here, which I'm really, really liking. I've got a feeling this is gonna be one of those um, paintings, one of the pores where a torch really will make a difference and pop some of these colors out of here. So let's see what that does. <clears throat> Remember whenever you're using a torch, make sure there's nothing in the general area that you can set on fire. You can use the smaller torch, or I like to use the larger propane torch. Oh yeah, okay. So some of the white, oh, that's nice. Definitely lighting up. Look at this spot right here. Beautiful. Okay, a little bit of heat's making that red cell pop up. Really giving it almost like a star, like little stars uh, from the white. 
And my red almost has turned in kind of a brick red instead of a bright, bright red, and that's okay. And I'm loving the way that this white is happening right over here. Get a little brighter action here. Oh, this is fun. It's been a while since my torch has made this big a difference on a painting. And I believe it's, I believe it's because the paint is so thick on this one, so. That might be another lesson for me to learn is thicker paint is going to equal more cell action. I'm going to leave it at that for right now. Wow, look how pretty that is. I'm going to pick this up so you can get another view. Coming in close, coming in this way. That's going to be really, really nice. And I kind of like it's almost got a little starry night thing going on with, um, with this being kind of dark and almost like a moon kind of shape happening up in this area. Very, very pretty. All right, well, thank you very much for watching my video. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below, and if you like the content, please, please, please hit subscribe. And pretty much all of the paintings I make that you see in my videos, uh, they're gonna be for sale at my Etsy store. So simply go to etsy.com and search for Steve Shaw and you should find a nice selection of my paintings, all reasonably priced and shipping is free. So take a look. Thanks for watching.